Nick Nocturne is not an SCP. But if it were, how would the SCP Foundation contain it? Nick Nocturne is the designation for the Keter-class demon-human hybrid that runs the YouTube channel Nightmind. Nick's demonic capabilities are in line with Foundation understanding. Shapeshifting, greater than human strength at human size, creation and manipulation of hellfire, spirit manipulation, etc. The entity's weaknesses are also well documented, subject to influence of those who know its true name, as well as various sigils and wards of the Abrahamic faiths. Unfortunately for our containment specialists, we have yet to discover the true name of this entity, and as a child of the first demon, Lilith, the power of the necessary wards is currently beyond Foundation knowledge. Even SCP-4357-J, our best source of advanced demonic containment procedures, is unwilling to talk about wards at that level. Due to our inability to successfully contain Nick, the next step in maintaining normalcy would be destruction of the entity. While within our capabilities, doing so would cause a level of collateral damage and civilian loss of life equivalent to a medium-sized city. Not that we wouldn't disappear an entire city, consider the case of Stockton, South Carolina. But we like to avoid that whenever possible. Luckily, Nick is also half-human, and has taken a liking to living a mostly human lifestyle. This allowed the Foundation to work out a truce with the Entity. Nick maintains public-facing normalcy, and in return, the Foundation doesn't have to resort to extreme measures. On top of that, there is the added benefit that the Nightmind YouTube channel does lend a hand in research of anomalies from time to time. That's a gift horse whose hundreds of demonic mouths I am not looking at. Make sure to like and share this video, comment any creatures you would like to see containment procedures implemented for, and if you want to help us make bigger and better SCP projects, become a patron at the link in the description. Secure. Contain. Protect.